So hello, welcome to Vistula Language Solutions. My name is Daniel Miller, and today we are going to talk about idioms in English to describe people. But before, you st but before we start, I just want to define what an idiom is. And an idiom is a group of words whose meaning is different than each individual word. So for example, we have the idiom to grab a bite. It's an idiom that means to, to have a, a quick meal somewhere. But as we know, each indi individual word is different. To grab is to take something quickly, and to bite is to, to, to attack something with your teeth or something. So the, the words individually mean something different than the phrase as a whole. And we're going to talk about idioms to describe people. And the idioms are here. So we have a couch potato, the teacher's pet, to be going gray, to, to be or to feel under the weather, a wolf in sheep's clothing, to let one's hair down, a penny pincher, to live in a world of one's own, and the breadwinner. So this is a list of idioms you can use to describe people. And if there are some idioms here that you're not sure about, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a story with these idioms in context to give you a better understanding of these phrases or idioms. And then after, I'll give you a little quiz to see how well you have understood the story. Okay, so here's my story. I live in an interesting apartment building in Warsaw. And the people in my apartment all know each other, but we all have different personalities. So for example, there is the Kowalski family, and they, they, they live next to me. And their teenage son David is such a couch potato. And David's mother is always complaining about him. And she's upset because she thinks because he is a couch potato, he will never go to a top university. And David has a sister, Janet, who is the complete opposite of David. And um, she, you know, her mother is so proud of her. David is a little jealous, and, and David thinks that she is the teacher's pet. And their father, Mr. Kowalski, is a, a doctor. He's very hardworking. And because he has a lot of stress, he's going gray now. And, um, and then the people who live upstairs from me is the... Uh, the Novak family, and the Novak family upstairs, um, there, is, uh, there is Mr. Novak, who is a lawyer, and uh, he makes a lot of money, but he is also a bit of a penny pincher. He's also a bit of a penny pincher. I, I saw, I saw Mr., Mr. Novak today, and I thought he was going to work, but he said he was feeling under the weather today, so he was going to stay home. And uh, his, his wife, Mrs. Novak, she's a, she's a housewife, but she's actually quite busy because she wants to start her own business too. So she's so busy, she has no time to let her hair down. She has no time to let her hair down. Um, but she's, she's uh, not really working now, so Mr. Novak is the breadwinner. So he is the breadwinner. And uh, they have uh, two, two children, and uh, the, the daughter, Julia, I see her sometimes, and I see her looking out the window a lot, and then I see her listening to music on her iPod, and I think she is just in a world of her own. She's a, in a world of her own sometimes. And then uh, finally, there is, the, there is their, their son. This is uh, Thomas Jr., actually. And um, people think that uh, Thomas Jr. is a very polite person, but um, actually, I've heard that he steals money from his parents, and I have seen him throw stones at windows. So I think he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, so these are the, the, the nine idioms, and that was my story that I told you. I know it wasn't a great story, but I was able to use all of these idioms in a proper context. Um, so what I wanted to do now quickly is I'm going to give you a little quiz on each of these idioms. So, so for example, um, what is the idiom that means someone who seems friendly but is unpleasant and cruel? Okay, somebody who seems friendly but is unpleasant and cruel. Okay, that will be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Somebody who seems friendly and is unpleasant and cruel. And what about, what is an idiom that uh, describes someone who spends a lot of time watching television? Someone who spends a lot of time watching television. That will be a couch potato. That is a couch potato. And what about an idiom that means that they do not feel well? You don't feel well. 
Okay? That will be to feel under the weather. This means you don't feel well. And what about a member of the family who makes the most money? So the member of the family that makes the most money is the breadwinner. This is the breadwinner, the person who makes the most money. What about the person um, who wants to relax and enjoy themselves a bit? Maybe they're under a lot of stress, but they want to relax and enjoy themselves a bit. This would be to let one's hair down. Okay? We generally use this expression to talk about women, to let their hair down. If you're a man, you put your feet up if you want to relax and enjoy yourself. Okay? Now, uh, what about an idiom to, to start uh, to have some gray hair? To start to have some gray hair? Okay, in English, we say to be going gray. So, Mr. Kowalski is a doctor, he's a lot of stress, and he's, he's going gray now. Okay, and um, the, next, um, the next idiom is um, to, to spend time imagining things. So, we talked about uh, Mr. Novak's daughter. She's always, remember, she's always looking out the window and she's listening to music. So she's imagining things, and uh, she's not always aware of what's happening around her. So she is living in a world of her own. She is living in a world of her own. And, um, and then we have, um, I, think it was, I think it was Mr. Novak, that he was a lawyer. He had a lot of money, but he didn't like to spend the money. So he's a bit of a penny pincher, right? So a penny pincher is a person who doesn't like to spend money. And then finally, we, we have, um, I, I believe it was uh, Mr. Kowalski's daughter, who is such a great student that everybody called her the teacher's pet. This is an, the idiom that the, the student, everyone thinks the teacher likes best. So if the teacher loves you best, you are the teacher's pet. Okay? The teacher's pet is a little disapproving of, of someone, but um, it's a way to show that the teacher likes you the most. Okay, so that was my lesson about idioms to describe people, and I hope you've learned something. Thank you very much.